Hello and welcome to a TV 25 special. I'm here today with funny man Palmer Williams. You may recognize him from various Tyler Perry plays or as Floyd in the House of Pain. Anyway, wherever you saw him, I'm sure he made you laugh. Palmer, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me about the haves and have-nots. Well, the have and the have-nots is the 11th production from uh, Mr. Perry to where he actually is depicting two different families. Right. One in particular, if you will, the have-nots, mm -hmm. is headed up by uh, an older lady who's playing uh, Hattie, mm -hmm. Hattie May, played right. by Patrice Lovely. And in this particular production, she's like the matriarch of the family. Right. She has her daughter and her husband there, as well as their teenage son, mm -hmm. because of the fact they were displaced from their home because of foreclosure. And now they're facing foreclosure in her house because they decided with this wild idea of right. using the equity in the home to flip houses right. because the husband is in the construction business. So in doing that, they pretty much have lost their monies on that particular venture as well. Okay. So now he's in between jobs. The wife is working as a domestic or a, mm -hmm. a maid, if you will, for the haves. So they're trying to make things uh, happen as far as trying to keep their family together and as well trying to make sure that they maintain some sort of uh, lifestyle. Right. You know? So in doing that, the, the teenage son has the idea that he can actually help contribute. But right. his way of contributing is a, a a bit illegal, if you will, uh, sort of a street pharmaceutical. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, without giving away too much. Right. But right. with that being said, they also show that they have love within the family unit, and it, you know, with a little bit of faith, you know, you can overcome everything. Sure, sure. But then on the other side, you have the haves, okay. which is a, a gentleman that is a rich man who is on his second marriage, but this particular wife is very young, and he's a uh, sort of uh, interested in knowing if this woman really loves him for him right. or loves him for his Where's high credit okay. score and, <laughs> right. and the amount of money that he can okay. uh, possess right. in, okay. in one bank account. All right. So it, it's uh, between those two things, he's struggling with, you know, having all the riches of the world, right. but without having someone that really truly loves you to share it with, is mm. it really worth it? Okay. So, you know, it can be a very lonely place at okay. the top. So, so tell me how this role fits into your life personally. Well, I play a butler. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually friends with the haves and the have-nots. Okay. I work for Mr. Uh, Willis, uh, who is the one with the haves, mm -hmm. and his wife, who has a wandering eye. Right. No. And uh, allegedly, I had an affair with the first wife. Allegedly, you know, huh? That'll all, you know, you know, come to pass okay. in the show. You'll see it. But uh, I actually, um, I say about eighty percent of my character uh, is me. Right. Uh, there are a lot of things that I have ingested over the years, and okay. life imitates art, sure. and art imitates life. Sure. So there's a lot of things that um, pertain to my own life. Um, being that I'm playing a butler, mm -hmm. I, I, I am somewhat of a, a servant mm -hmm. to the world, so to speak. I mean, I really enjoy making people laugh. Okay. I didn't even know I had the aptitude to do that right. until someone actually told me that I was funny. and okay. said, you should you know, really look into that whole... Um, uh, comedic timing. Thing. Okay, all right. So I guess that's one part of it, and just uh, being silly and uh, having a good time. Yeah, just having a good time. Okay, you know, right. I mean, where can you go that you can actually have a good time going to work right, nowadays? Right, right, you know, right. Enjoy myself. So, so tell me, how long is the tour? The tour is going to last until February the twenty seventh, mm -hmm. and then Mr. Perry is coming out with another production, uh, another Medea production. Okay. And uh, uh, the title is uh, it's untitled just as of as mm -hmm. of now. But uh, they're going to do that. I'm not going to be in that production. I'll be back home and uh, preparing to do something, whatever the next thing okay. that God is um, instructing me to do. But okay. Yeah, this this particular one will uh, last until the 27th of February, and we also went out for nine weeks last fall. Okay. So you know this is Great. our second second uh, spring tour, Wonderful. so to speak. All right. So tell me, what do you prefer? Prefer the uh, plays on stage or television? I would say stage. Stage, mm -hmm. I get to let my hair down, okay. <laughs> so to speak. And uh, mm. with, with that in particular, I'm able to um, sort of feel the audience a little bit. And it's, and it's an immediate um, uh, appreciation of what it is that you're mm. delivering. You know, with television, you know, sometimes you can have a studio audience or you can have a canned audience, which right. they'll just push a button when it's supposed to be funny. Right. But with an audience, you get a true sense of what is really funny. And 
because of the experiences that I've had on the stage, um, I'm able to fill the crowd out to know what works and what doesn't work. Okay. It's almost like a stand-up comedian. Sure. But uh, a comedic actor and a, com and a stand-up comedian is two different things. Okay. And those that have done it will tell you that, you know, it's a, a whole different animal. But I, I would say the immediate response and immediate mm -hmm. gratitude that right. I get from the audience, exactly. I would say stage, okay. I, I prefer. But uh, TV pays a little bit more. Okay. All right. yeah, praise now, the Lord. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you a, a really tough question. You've got to oh be Lord. careful how you answer this question. Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me sit back. Yeah, and, sit and back relax. and get comfortable because that, uh, come on back to oh, me. Oh, wait. Hold on. This, this, <laughs> that's the wrong. This, that's this, the, this you wind up on the back. Chair. You wind up back there somewhere. I, I'm going to feel like I'm going to scrape the back Don't of do my that. head. Don't do that. Don't do that. we got a brick wall back there. Now, this is a tough question because people from Baltimore people from Baltimore are going to be watching this. Okay. All right. What do you think about Baltimore? I was this, really rooting for young. I really was. I'm not talking about the team. I'm talking oh, about I'm Baltimore. I'm, I'm, I'm talking sorry. about oh, I done brought the up something <laughs> personal. I'm sorry. See, you had a I sore spot right there. Yeah, <laughs> man, but I really was I really was rooting for y'all okay. on that. I well, know you weren't asking that question. All right. Well, what do you think about our great city? Uh, I love Baltimore. Baltimore has been very good to me, especially mm -hmm. with my career. Uh You've been here before? Marriage counselor, okay. which is about six years ago. Right. And we had to do an extension of the run. We had to do nine shows as opposed to the eight. Mm -hmm. You know, our off day, we actually did a show. Okay. You know, and that, you know, we were excited about it because of the local promoter here. He's always been very, very good to me and, okay. and the entire Tyler Perry uh, staff. And so we were willing to do that, not to mention the fact that they were going to make some money. Right. But at the same time, you know, we we're willing to do that because they've been so accommodating here right. in Baltimore. The seafood, of course, you know, without being said, I love the harbor area. Uh, just uh, old friends that mm -hmm. I, I've actually developed while here and right. even from college that are actually living here. Okay. Uh, Baltimore has been very responsive to everything. Even when I did my own productions okay. on Can a Woman Make a Man Lose His Mind. Okay, that was, your, that was your production? Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm also a playwright as well. Okay, great. And then, you know, what a so man you got skills, bro. Well, I've been blessed. I've okay. been blessed. All uh, right. Just trying to take it from the page to the stage. Okay, you know? all right. Like okay. I said, life imitates art. Art imitates life. Right. You know, trying to do some things that make sense and, sure. uh, and brings a positive light to our community because a lot of times, you know, in the African-American community, we're depicted mm. in such a negative light. Sure. But uh, I like to tell people like myself, as well as Mr. Perry, is that um, we just happen to be black, but we're playwrights. Sure. We're not black playwrights. Right. We just right. happen to be black. Uh, absolutely. You know, that's why we diversify our cast and things like that, because it's about the human race as sure. opposed to one particular race. Right, right. Now, now, I know that all of Tyler Perry's uh, plays uh, have a message. Uh, oh, yeah. what, what message is this play trying to get out to the audience? I would say definitely hope, especially with uh, the economic climate that we have today. A lot of people are facing foreclosure. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are facing losing their jobs if they haven't right. already lost their jobs, uh, breaking up families due to their economic status and situation. But uh, I would say hope is the number one answer. You know, stick to one type of idea mm. and, and, and master that as opposed to spreading yourself around and trying to do five to six different things. You mm -hmm. know, concentrate on that one thing and it'll birth the other things okay. as well. So right. I think that was the main uh, thing is, is, is hope and family above anything else and that if you have the faith the size of a mustard ste right. seed, you can tell that mountain to move and it will move. Okay. You know? right. So that's, I think that's the, the overall message that in this particular production. Okay. Well, Palmer, thanks for coming on the show. No, thank you so and much. And I'll thank see you, you at the play. Most definitely. Right. And okay. I'm going to go find me a space heater. Uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. The haves, the have-nots, January 24th through 29th. You don't want to miss this play.